Welcome to Intel Wiki. Over the next few minutes, we're going to show you how you can supercharge your team's experience with Intel Wiki's collaborative knowledge editing. We have a brand new Intel Wiki team with a general channel. We'll click on this to get started. And we're going to click on the plus. Here we can now go in and choose a tab to add. You can search for peer for Intel Wiki, and in our case, it's showing up right here. We can click Intel Wiki, and we're going to choose to add it to our team in this particular channel. You can have any number of wikis inside your teams with a license. You can add those to as many channels as you'd like. We have to put a title in here. We'll just call this Demo Wiki. And here you can do options uh, for a create a wiki. If you want to add an existing wiki, you can do that, one that already exists. Or if you want to import one uh, from an existing Teams wiki, you can do that. This makes it easy to migrate. All right, as we create it, it's going to add a new tab for us in our channel. It's gonna pull up the basics and show you a starting page. I'll give you a short orientation here. You have a sidebar for pages, the basic toolbars across the top. You have the wiki content in the middle. And on the right, you see the tab for the table of contents flyout. These areas can be pinned and unpinned using those little pins. I'm gonna go ahead and unpin on this and focus on the main wiki area. All right, the first thing we're going to do is change the title. We're gonna select the title. In this case, it's untitled. We're gonna rename this page to Demo Wiki Page. Below the title, you'll see the default text for the wiki page. This gives you an idea of what the wiki can do. You can scroll down and see many of the features. We'll start replacing this text with text for our demonstration. This particular piece of text is an H1. Here we have an H1, H2, H3, and you can change the type of the heading. In this case, this text is just body text, and it has all the basic features like doing bold and italics and strikes through and the like. We also have the ability to highlight a particular piece of text and change the color. You can change the color by doing that. You can also see that right down here in this highlighted text area. I can also choose some text to highlight and highlight that and make it code if it's in line. If I have some code that I want to drop in as a block, I can show an entire piece of code as formatted text. I can do it as a block here using the button right up here on the toolbar. I can then choose that block, type in some text that I would want as code. I can also paste it in from another application. This makes it really easy to do multiple line code blocks and show syntax highlighting as well. We can also indent and unindent text by using the buttons on the toolbar or tab and shift tab on the keyboard. Let's show a list. We can press one period space and that will automatically start a list or click on the toolbar to do a list. You can end it using tabs or unindent using shift tab. And if you want to go to stop doing the list, press enter twice, that will back you up and start from the beginning. We can also do dash space, and that will create a bulleted list, automatically creating a list. You can do it from the toolbar as well. This will allow you to create bulleted lists and do tab to indent, just like you could with the other lists. We have a few more features to show you. The first one I'd like to start with is the ability to add tables. If you click the table icon on the toolbar, you can see that a table is inserted right into the document. Oh, what's happening here? It looks like my coworker Meg has joined me in collaboratively editing this document. One of the nice features of IntelWiki is that it does support collaborative editing. We can both be in here and editing the document at the same time. For example, we can add a column to the right. And this is a special toolbar that just pops up for the tables and we can add another column and she can do editing and she can add a header right there like you see her adding to my new column. Both people can edit the document at the same time and see exactly the same results. She's actually going to add a picture. I'm gonna have Meg, if she could go ahead and add a picture for us and we're gonna put a picture into this cell uh, right here. And we can put pictures inside tables or just in, inside regular text, it can be anywhere we want. And the images here pop right in. You see it here for us, even though she added it. It's a picture of beautiful Spokane, Washington, where our uh, company is located. 
you can see here as you select a pic picture, you can see right here in the corner, be able to go ahead and resize that. You can resize the image. You see that the columns are resizing automatically uh, based on the size of that image. You can also change uh, the size of the columns by dragging as well. IntelWiki provides lots of flexibility around images. It does support copy and paste as well if you want to pull things in uh, from other locations or something like Microsoft Word. You can just use copy and paste or you can paste from other wikis as well if you want to copy and paste from there. Up the buttons here allows you to do the import of an image via upload. You can also create links. So for example, if we wanted to select this bit of text and create a hyperlink, I can come right in there, create the link. This allows users to very easily just click on that and jump directly uh, to that web page. So this kind of finishes up a lot of the features here, the basic editing and some of the more advanced features as well. Many users need to be able to add comments to their document. These would be comments that actually aren't part of the body text, but are separate from the document shown over on the right-hand side, like you would see in Microsoft Word. This little button up here on the toolbar will allow you to create a comment. Click that button, and you can add a comment to the selected text. When you click Add, you will see this little sidebar pop up. We can pin that sidebar so it stays there, and we can now see that there's a comment. We can select the comment, and it selects the text. This allows me to very easily see the comments on a particular part of the page and shows the text they're commented on. Not only can you see the comments here, but there's a little drop down that allows for some other options. What I'm gonna show you before we get to this is the table of contents. This allows us to have a summary of the document based on the headers. So H1, here's an H2, and you can see this is all laid out according to how we've laid out the document. So if I come in here and I add another item here and I wanna make this an H3 and you can see how this automatically falls right in the correct place in the hierarchy. This makes it very simple to navigate large documents. This is a really easy way to be able to scan a document and see what's in there and jump around through the document. We can also grab a link to the specific place in this document to this specific header. We can also use it through these hover links. Let's talk a little bit about revision history. You can get to it from this menu here, and IntelliWiki provides complete revision history for all of your documents. If we click on this, you can see all the changes as we edit every few minutes. It takes a snapshot of the document, and you can restore to any one of these at any point in time. This is the initial document we started with. We could restore back to it, or we could see the document as it is right now. If there's other revisions, we would see them here as well. Let's go back to the page. Let's take a quick look at the copy of the page link right there. You can see and get a copy of the entire page. If you want to embed this somewhere, if you wanted to embed this on an external site, uh, you could then link into Teams here to be able to see that. You'd only have access to this if you have access to the team with an Office 365. Security is all built into Teams using the, the channels. We can also use this to link to other wikis. This basically covers the sidebar on the right-hand side with a table of contents. Let's go ahead and look at the Pages sidebar. We'll go ahead and close this on the right. Pull this up. We'll put a pin in the Pages sidebar. This sidebar does a lot of things with respect to the pages. Click the plus to make a new page. We can add multiple new pages. I want to show you some features here with drag and drop to be able to change the organization of the pages to change the order. Let's go ahead and move this page back to the top and we'll click on these, this menu over here. We're gonna make a hierarchy. We're gonna to choose to indent. We can choose up or down, but we can also choose indent. And you can see that it disappears and we see a little drop down. We can open that up and if we have a lot of pages, we can give each page a hierarchy so it's easier to manage. We can also see we can copy links and do renames, which we can also do that from the actual title, and we can also delete the page. If we delete the page, you will see you have a prompt, but then it happens to recycle bin. We can click on the recycle bin to open that, and we can see that we have just deleted this particular page. We can then restore that, restore that page, and we now see the pages come back. You also get the history back, and those last for 30 days before they're deleted permanently. If you change your mind, there is some time to go ahead and bring those pages back. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the regular menu here on the pages, the recycle bin, 
you can search pages. We'll cover searching in just a little bit. We can export wikis too. Exporting wikis, we wanna make sure that you can get your information whenever you want it. This will go ahead and export in a zip file format with HTML. There'll be HTML files for each page with files for each image and all the contents will be included as footnotes. This makes it really easy to go ahead and export your data out of IntelWiki in a format that you can reuse really easily. You can also manage all of your wikis right here from this menu. A couple more things to cover here on the Pages pane. Let's click on the gear to bring up the settings. The first one is permissions. This shows all the permissions for each one of the wikis and the owners have full access all the time. If you have a creator, you can modify and delete the wiki. And if you have team members, the team members, you can then choose how you interact with the wiki. So the owners can choose that. You can just be able to modify it and delete it. You can choose that. If you wanna be able to just modify content, this is the default option. You can't delete pages. If you want read-only access, go ahead and choose that. This allows the owners to write the page However, the team members can only read it. This allows you to have a wiki that only the owners can change and the members can read. Makes it very nice for security. We now have appearance. You can choose the theme. There's a light or dark theme. It's set to auto by default and will match the theme that the Teams is already set to. With features, you can grant admin consent. This is important for what we call at mentioning. And this allows us to see into Teams and the information about your team. This is important to be able to interface with Teams to see the users and the files inside of your particular channel. We can use the at key and then it will show a list of the information that you can potentially link to. And this allows you to quickly create links to other parts of Teams that allows you to make it easy to connect things together. Let's go ahead and close this and show you how this works. From here, you can press the at key and then it shows a little menu that shows you all the files, wiki, pages, and people in the team. We look at at Meg here in this case and it creates a little tile. It will then, in the little activity bell in the upper left-hand corner, it will show you that she's mentioned. Let's go ahead and jump back into the settings. Let's take a look at licenses. This is where you can manage all your licenses. You can see each one of the licenses you have. If you drop down this little menu right here, you can see all the different licenses uh, that are available to your team. If you need to have more licenses, you can purchase those in the upper right. It'll give you all the information. If you are the owner of this, you can see more things. About gives you nice tutorial information along with some help information. The tutorials walk you through new features. And as we roll out new features, you'll see these pop up here. Let's close this down and we'll pull up the pages one more time to finish this off. Let's look at the help screen. This is a lot like the page we just saw. It shows you shortcuts, jump to the website. Feedback is very important to us. We want to know how we are doing with Telwiki. We wanna hear what you think. We wanna get your feedback about new features and how it's working for you. If you like it and attached an image, that would be really helpful. Please include feedback for us. We'd love to get back to you and have dialogue about the new features you'd like to see. This covers the main features that can be used inside of IntelWiki when using it inside of a team and a channel. IntelWiki can also be used at a global scope to search all your wikis. You can add this interface to your team's experience by adding a personal tab. The way you add these is you click on apps and we already have this one added and you can choose IntelWiki to add it for your particular team's instance. This is for each person. You can search for IntelWiki, you can see it pop up, and then you get a tab that looks just like this. This has several features. By default, it shows all wikis, which shows each wiki by the title and allows you to search them by those titles. Again, you have the recycle bin and the help and some more information about how to create a wiki. Wikis actually have to be created inside of a team and cannot be created from here. Now. The nice thing is you can search by wiki content from this tab. Here we can search for any text or title in any of the wikis. Let's search for demo wiki. In this case, the system's going to bring up and show us the wiki content that we just created on our demo page. This is a nice little piece here. It shows you a little preview of your content 
and a snapshot of what that looks like on your page. You can click open page, and this is going to help us to jump right back to the location inside the team, if you have access to it, to be able to see the exact content of your wiki. And here's our wiki, and we can see Meg is still editing that wiki. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Intel Wiki. We are especially interested in your feedback, and we hope you find it as a great tool to further your business and your enterprise. Please let us know if you have any other questions or if there's any way that we can provide a demo to address specific concerns that you have. Thank you again for your interest in Intel Wiki.